Hey guys, this is Ryan and I'm coming back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to boot uh, Mac or your Mac or multiple Macs from a USB drive. Um, and specifically we're going to be walking through creating a USB drive um, that you can boot your Mac from uh, using an iOS or just operating system in general. And so what I'm going to be doing is using a hard drive I have, a 32 gigabyte USB drive and uploading or turning it into an install drive for um, Mojave. So what we're going to do first is we are going to go to our finder, which I already have open right here, and select applications on the left. So we're going to scroll down through our applications and we're going to look for install Mac OS Mojave. All right, so like I said um, or mentioned, this can actually work for any um, any operating system. So if you have a newer one or an older one, you can do the same process. But I'm just choosing Mojave because that's what's on the drive. So I'm going to right click it and click show package contents. All right, then I'm going to click into the contents and scroll down here to resources and click on that. And what I'm looking for is the create install media button right here or this little kind of um, line of code, but we'll get into that in a second. So. Now that we've located our create install media, what we want to do is actually open a new tab in Finder, um, or you can open a new Finder window. And so I'm going to hit File, New Tab. And with this tab, I'm going to go back to the Applications folder. So back to Applications. And I'm actually this time going to be looking for our utility application. And what this utilities folder is going to do is this going to set up our USB drive um, in the right place? So we're open up our utilities and we scroll all the way down to this little application called Terminal. All right. So here we are, we've got our terminal open. And now is when it starts to get a little complicated, but don't worry, it doesn't get um, too unfollowable. So you're going to type in sudo, S U D O, and space. Then from there, you're going to navigate back to that first tab we opened in Finder and drag and drop the Create Install Media right into the terminal. You'll create all of this code you see right here. So now what you're going to do is create two dashes, type out volume, and then space. All right, great. So now I'm going to go back to Finder and I'm going to actually take this tab since I don't need to open Terminal anymore and uh, open up my uh, actual volumes. And I know my volume is right here on the right, but just to show you how to do it through Finder, what we're going to do is select Go, go to Folder, and then type out dash volumes. And like I said, it's already there, so I'm just going to type that out. And this is giving us the options of places that we could put uh, the Mojave code that's going to allow us to upload it and use it as a drive. So I'm going to select Charles, which is my, like I said, 32 gigabyte USB and drag and drop. So now we have our volume Charles and I'm just going to click enter. And now it's going to prompt you for a password and this password is going to be whatever password is used on your device. So when you type it in, it won't, you won't see letters like you do on a website. Um, you'll just need to type it in and uh, know that everything you're typing is being transferred to the code. You just can't see it. So I'm going to type in my password. All right. And it says ready to start. So to continue, we need to erase the volume at volumes slash Charles. So this is asking you if you actually want to use your USB, because what happens is when you use your USB as a Mac OS device, you have to completely wipe the device of any other files. So if you have other files on there that are valuable, you want to make sure that those aren't there um, before you um, go through with this next step. So if you wish to continue, type Y then press return. So I'm going to type Y and press return. And it's going to start this process of formatting the drive and it says terminal will like to access files on a removable volume. Okay. So now it's going to kind of take a minute to just slowly but surely copy over 
to our hard drive. So I'm going to speed up this next section because this normally takes just a, just a little bit of time. All right, so now that it has loaded, what we're going to do is close our volume window. And as you can see, we've got our hard drive right here, the install Mac OS Mojave. And the only thing left to do at this point is when you start up your computer, um, you are going to hold down the option key on your MacBook um, as you hold down the power button and your computer boots up. You're going to hold that for about 10 seconds until you see actually this icon appear in your startup window. And all you're going to do is select that and select run, um, run computer boot up from the Mac OS Mojave. And it will actually launch into installing Mojave from your USB instead of your internal hard drive. So that has been how to boot a Mac or your MacBook from USB. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe.